There you guys, made a bit of progress today, well, a lot of progress. Um, I got these little things. They usually have a tube going through the middle. They do have a tube going through the middle. And a wheel usually sits um, this way. Not not that way, they sit that way. Um, but instead we flipped them around the other side. There's a big thick tube in the middle. It's about four mil thick all around. It's a hollow tube, but yeah, about four mil thick. So it's really strong. And it's got, through that tube, it's got a bolt and then a lock nut. And then we welded this part onto the frame, my dad did. Um, and then onto that shoe we welded a thread. Can't really see it. Oh, there you go. Um, so we welded that thread on there, put a bolt on there so it's spaced out a bit, and then put a bolt on the other side. Um, we've got to get um, lock nuts and washers so this moves better. It does move pretty good but it can move better with washers because it does sort of um, when you tighten the bolts it does sort of squish onto the bearing a bit but yeah it's looking pretty good it's um it needs to be 87 or 86 wide to get into my gate at home and it's about 86 wide about 85 and a half 86 so it's beautiful and I didn't actually plan for that I think it was going to be smaller because I was thinking about making my frame a lot wider but it turns out that um, yeah, it's good. So, it's looking nice. So, I've got my pedal footrest there. Um, now, there's a big gap between that. And one of my dad's friends that work here um, at the factory, um, he said that it's going to create a lot of stress there. Now, he stood on it and it did bend, but he weighs about 100 kilos. Because I weigh 50 kilos, it doesn't actually bend when I sit on it. So, I don't actually have to put a support bar. Um, having said that, I'm going to put a bar across here for the steering wheel. Um, for the steering wheel, I'm going to use a bike, a mountain bike, where it has like the steering wheel shaft. And then I'm just going to make that shaft longer. And the two bits on the bike, they go like that. I'm going to just cut one off and then weld one down to that bar. So I'm going to have a bar going down to that bar across. And then the steering wheel shaft, which I'll lengthen, which will go down here. And off these little turning bits, off these little circle bits, I'm going to weld a bar out, which will be about this far out. Off that, weld another bar fully across the other one. And then my dad was saying in between we should have like um, a thread and then two adjusters so you can adjust these. So say one's like that, the other one's like that, or like that. You can adjust them so they're both perfectly straight. And then off that we'll have the steering wheel column, which will sit up like that and then yeah but they have adjusters before they hit steering wheel shaft little bar comes up and then off to the wheels before it hits that it's going to be adjusters there on either side so you can adjust them so they're fully straight the wheels um then i haven't done anything on the back I have to put the bearing holders underneath here are the bearing holders now remember these are cast iron so you cannot weld them then the bearing holders will sit under here, like so. And then the bearings obviously in there. Um, the bearings do have lock collars, so they will lock the... Um, I'll show you the bearings. If I can get them open. The bearings do have like little lock things in them. I think it, pretty sure they're called lock collars. So you can lock the shaft to the bearing. So the shaft will move with the bearing. There are the bearings. They were $15 each. Um, then you have a little grub screw, as you can see there, and that will hold the shaft on. Um, so yeah, and those turning things, these bits, the whole bit, we got them for free, both of them, because my dad's, you know, is the guy who owns the store. Um, now I've got this 2.5 horsepower. I'm thinking I'll take the head off, probably um, lap the valves and shave the eyebrows. And then I'm going to lengthen this exhaust pipe. So I'll go like turn and then down and then head it to the ground. So like head it over here or something and then down to the ground. So it makes it a bit quieter. Um, yeah, so I'll shave the eyebrows and lap the valves. And my bad friend who works here, um, he has a spare 2.5 horsepower sitting in his shed. 
So he's gonna give it to me for parts and all that. Um, this is the Dremel. It's an air one. Yeah, it runs on compressed air. So I can use that here. It's my dad's factory, by the way. My motorized bike over there. Go kart. Looks nice. This is his welder. It's a SIG weld, MIG welder. Um, it's pretty good. It runs on argon, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not sure, actually. He has an argon tank, though. Anyway, so that's the go kart. Tomorrow, I'm hoping maybe put the bearing holders on and maybe get a shaft made up soon. Then I can, uh, I've got to order a brake, a brake thingy off the net. And then, yeah, it'll be good. So, I'll probably get the turning bits done tomorrow. The whole turning bit. Um, so that bar welded out and that whole bit. Probably not steering wheel though. So this is me sitting in my car. It's pretty good. So I'm like, in. And then turn. Oh, so cool. I got some wheels on here. And it's not bending. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not bending at all. Uh. So yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Um, these are my overalls, by the way. I've had them for a long time. And I'm going to get racing ones, which is pretty awesome. So when I race my go-kart, I can have racing overalls. How cool is that? So yeah, that's the go-kart. Stay tuned for more. See you later.